Hello, hello. Uh, I'm gonna talk a bit about this subject, but first I'm gonna ask myself who made Ragnar Lothbrok a king? Uh, we have to go back 800 years to find the answer to that question, and that is Snorri Sturluson himself. And uh, I'm going to make a few pointers trying to prove he was not a Swedish king. According to the Danish historian Saxo Grammaticus, Ragnar was a Jarl. In Denmark, he was one of King Horek's Jarls. So he, his Swear was not Sweden at all. And according to a French source, he died at King Horek's court. Snorre, Snorre, he made out of, a, out of a text called uh, Ragnar's Drapa, Snorre made the Swedish prince Ragnar Sigurdsson. He made Ragnar Lothbrok out of him. And that, that's problematic. Um, if you're gonna uh, make a one person out of two persons that's gonna cause problems somewhere so anyway if you if you look at the what can i say the royal line of sweden the kings of sweden ragnar lothbrok cannot be fitted in uh, I will make a video about the kings of Sweden uh, from his time and I'm gonna show you that. Well, he was a Danish Viking. He, he was a Jarl and he was a w war uh, chieftain. Uh, but he was not a king. But still, according to Gni.com or some such sites he's presented like both the king of Sweden and Denmark so a lot of this geneal genealog genealogical uh, genealogical rubbish is still floating around and uh, if you just try to to try to make sense or try to uh, look at the sources that we have you can see that the, this person has not has nothing to do with the swedish kings and uh, i don't know if i proved anything to you but uh, i'm gonna show you in an upcoming video so you might want to subscribe so um, that was all I had to say for now so I thank you for watching and I see you next time